Today, you will learn about illuminations and illuminated letters. Follow along with your notes on the Google Doc on Canvas. Many of illuminated letters and manuscripts originated in Europe. What is an illumination? An illumination is an embellishment or additional decoration that enhances the pages of a written or manuscript page. You need to write this for your first bullet point on your notes. The term illumination comes from the term illuminate or to fill with light. You need to write that on your second bullet. An illumination effect is achieved with the application of gold leaf to letters and images that reflect light and appear to glow. So gold leaf was a material used um, way back when they used actual gold for this gold leaf and they would apply that kind of like paint to their materials. Um, the reason it is called like an illumination is because that gold leaf appeared to glow on that paper. So at this point you should have bullets one and two done on your notes. An illuminated letter was usually the first letter of a page or paragraph. That is your third bullet. Your fourth bullet says it was always enlarged and in color with gold applied in areas while the rest of the text remained black. These images used to enhance the letters include animals, plants, and mythological creatures. These images were modified to fit into or around the letter, or in some cases took on the shape of the letter itself. So, for example, the images used to enhance the letters include animals, plants, and mythological creatures. They were modified to fit into or around the letter, or in some cases took on the shape of the letter themselves. This is an example of an illuminated letter. You can see in here there are mythological creatures, animals, and plants. The plants, are, some of them are woven into the letter, and some of the creatures are fit fitted around the letter. You can see the gold leaf here. So it all kind of works together. So this is an actual example of a illuminated letter. At this point you should have the section labeled what is an illumination filled in on your notes sheet. You do not need to write anything for this. You are just listening. Because the recording of historical events was such an important task, illuminations were ordered by kings and religious leaders to be added to various pages in order to add interest and importance to their appearance. So in the year 1397, do you think that they used a typewriter? They did not. The typewriter wasn't even invented then. So the reason why handwritten things were so important was because it was the only way that people could do it. So they were ordered by kings and religious leaders um, to add interest and importance to their appearance because this was the only way that they could keep track of their history and events that were happening. There were three people involved in the creations of illuminations. This is under the section, Who Created Them? on your notes. The parchmenter prepared the drawing and writing surface. This is the parchmenter. The scribe copied information onto each page. And the illuminator actually created the illuminated letters and other decorations on each page. At this point, you should have who created them completed. You do not have to type anything into your notes for this. This is just for you to listen to. So the parchmenter prepared animal skins to be used as writing surfaces. Um, at this time, 
the paper from wood pulp wasn't available yet. They didn't have the tools or the resources to make that. So they used animal skins as writing surfaces. Um, this wasn't typical just in Europe. It was typical all over the world. So the word parchment usually refers to the surface made of sheepskin, while vellum refers to the surface made of calfskin or a cow. Uh, both of these were made by stretching the skin in the sun and then burnishing or rubbing it with a rounded stone repeatedly to create a smooth surface. Um, this is important to note because animal skins are a lot more durable than paper that we have today. So that is one way that we are able to still view these today because they are still sturdy. They held up well because of the materials that were used. The scribe. The scribe was the person in charge of copying words and stories onto pages of parchment to be made into a book. So the parchmenter would make the animal skin and prepare that material for the scribe to then write on. So upon receiving the parchment, they would check it for flaws and the scribe would have several tools to prepare before sitting down to write. So they weren't able to just go out and buy a pen from Walmart. So they had to actually make their materials. So they had to sharpen their quill pens that were sometimes made from a bird's feather. Then they had to prepare their inks. So like their, they didn't have like a pen that we have today. They had a quill and ink. So their inks were made from natural materials like ashes, plant materials, and egg whites. So once all of those materials were prepared, then they could start writing. So this was a very lengthy process to make these. Finally, after the parchmenter made the material and the scribe wrote on the material, the illuminator would finally be able to add the decorative images that we call illuminations. So all of the text was in place because the scribe wrote all of the text first. So the scribe would pass the pages to be done onto the illuminator who would begin to add detail and the decorative images that we call illuminations. They would first make a rough sketch. Hmm, that's weird. Where have I heard a rough sketch before? Almost like you guys have done that. Interesting. <laughs> so the illuminator would make a rough sketch before they decided to outline that with pen. So the gold leaf would go on first and then all of the colors that were made from ground up stones and plants and natural materials would follow that gold leaf to get that extra detail in that art piece. Illuminations defined a time in history when the ability to read was sacred and reserved for religious leaders or those born of royal blood. Because it took great skill to create such items of beauty and because these creations were so important, it was a great time in history for artists. Without the artist's skills and talents, these beautiful images might not have ever existed. So, in your notes, you are writing, Illuminations defined a time in history when the ability to read was sacred and reserved for religious leaders or those born of royal blood. So, at this time, not everybody learned how to read. Um, it was kind of reserved for those religious leaders or those born of royal blood. It was a privilege to be able to read, which is horrible because everybody should get the right to know how to read. Um, so illuminations are a way that we can define that time in history. At this point in time, all of your notes should be completed. <laughs>